There is celebration tonight in Cupertino. Marquez Brownlee has switched back to Final Cut Pro 10. <laughs> or switch for the I'm first shocked. Time. It's, it's like the it's like the special edition <sighs> update to the end of Re Return of the Jedi, where <laughs> celebrations and Coruscant and everywhere yeah, else. Exactly. They'll be dancing tonight among the Ewoks. Ooh, Planet, right. the MKBHD used to use Adobe Premiere Pro. He never used Final Cut. He's not switching back. He's switching to. I, I don't know. It sounded like the tweets made it sound like he was switching to, but I might be wrong. So he tweets, "I switched to Final Cut Pro 10, and I like it." I don't think anyone can tell which video was the first FCPX edit. He you know, will because he's got done fast. I mean, the bottom line is, I mean, we can talk a lot about whether Avid or Premiere or other things are, are better or worse because they, they all have their advantages and disadvantages. Um, we're actually using Premiere for a handful of things, and then we use Final Cut for 90% of what we do because mostly what we want to do is turn around, turn things around quickly, and there is you really can't have that conversation about whether they're even or not. The speed at which you can edit once you understand how, how to use Final Cut and the speed of the export is that's is what he twice as fast as Premiere. That's what he says is that the export and it means you can also use Final Cut on a sm on a lower mm -hmm. end like a MacBook. I mean it it exports on my Retina like like it's almost like magic. But, uh, like I'm not even sure like I'm not, like, did it really export that whole one hour? I mean it just it's crazy and it does rendering uh real-time rendering and real-time rendering 4k yeah. you know and it'll handle the pro you know it'll do all of those things and again it's just it and you just say send to i used to be very superstitious and not do it but now you just send a compressor and then compressor has your thing and it and compressor is so fast i mean it's is just, it as easy now uh to use as iMovie i mean is it similar to that it's harder than iMovie, but if you're if you started an iMovie then it's the it's just the perfect upgrade right. you know that's what app that's what it really aimed at was you, the, the the biggest video app in the world is iMovie because that's right. what it ships on every computer. And then, and and how do you make that that integration easier? It's a lot easier for someone to go from iMovie to Final Cut 10 than it was to you know to go to Final Cut 7. Um, oh, here's good news. Apparently, I own it. <laughs> there you go. It was go. funny. Yeah. Last CES, we did a three camera shoot for a, an interview with Callie Lewis, and they just gave it to me at the end. And a friend of mine was there, Martin Reich. In five minutes, he showed me how to do a, th a three camera edit wow. in Final Cut. And I did it, and we rendered it. And about uh, 45 minutes later, we had the completed video up. That was always one of the nice features. You could switch in post, so you could have three ISO cameras and then. Right. And do the <laughs> and do the switching later. And I'd never done that. I had no that's idea nice. how to do that going. Yeah, that's a nice feature. I remember telling Leo when we did that first video. Oh yeah, you just do multicam in Final Cut Seven, and I had never done it. And then you tried it. Well, I spent all night. I got it done. You, you got it done. Was you got it done. But this just automatically stuff. aligned everything based no, on the great. sound, and yeah, it was terrific. No, it's screaming fast. I mean, that's the big thing. Is is that it's just it's super. It's fast. optimized I don't like the way for Mac. Probably, yeah. Don't keep saying this because we switched from Final Cut to, to Premiere, and all well, our editors are now using Premiere Final on Cut. Dell PCs, and they're going to go ma get mad at me. <laughs> Final Cut Seven to Final to Premiere is a big upgrade. Final Cut, but Final Cut. I mean, if you're doing fast, sorry guys, it's only three hundred bucks too. Yeah, that's yeah. And apparently, at some point uh, in my history, I bought it because it, it just says install. Which it's not is only three hundred bucks. It, they have never charged for an upgrade. Yeah, so that's nice. So I can in just install this. Maybe I will. I'll put it on my MacBook and see what it's like. It's a lot just, of fun just across, to the, use. just across the board. I'm. I was surprised that I, I I cut a couple of videos on the iPad Pro and iMovie just to as part of my workout for it. But now I actually prefer to cut videos on iPad Pro. It's just the the tactile nature of it and that, that big screen makes it work. And I haven't done well, that. And I should play with it. And what do you yeah, use, it, it, Andy? Just iMovie. iMovie. And ju just the ability that I'm, that I'm not, you know, I'm not using, a, I'm not going like this and like keeping my eye someplace what? else. But I'm just saying, okay, I want that to be cut there. And I want this clip to go in there. And now I want this to be more of a pause. And it's like, you, it, it, it gets me into an editing fugue quicker <laughs> and more deeply than, uh, as, as, uh, than on Final, Final Cut. As much as I love, and I love Final Cut. All right. Serenity has been using I, that, and she's been using Pinnacle, which is either uh, used to be Avid yeah, Studio yeah. for yeah. yeah, and both of them, she said, are just fantastic. Nice.